Today, we're talking about the Premier Pro CC18 exam, and we're looking at the second subdomain called Project Setup and Interface. Subdomain 2.1 is Set Appropriate Project Settings for a Video. We're going to go ahead and start off on this screen because we're going to start a brand new project. I just opened up Premiere Pro and this is how it loaded. We'll click New Project. We'll go ahead and give this project a name. After we've given this a name, we have the ability to change our save location. So we'll click Browse to do that. Once you've found the folder that you want to save your project, go ahead and select Folder. Down below, you have some of your video rendering and playback options. I have an NVIDIA card, so I want to keep the CUDA option checked. You might have some other options here that you might need to choose from. We have some scratch disk, some ingest settings that you might be asked to play with. But for this, this looks good, so we'll click OK. Now that Premiere is loaded, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab a file that we can use to demonstrate with, which is actually part of subdomain 2.4, import assets into a project. So we'll cover that later in more detail. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start here with import media to start. There are a few ways to add media, but I normally just double click. My video file is in this working files folder, so I'm just going to select it and click import folder. Part A of this subdomain says that we should be able to set appropriate project settings for video. If I drop this down, in fact, I'm going to make this widescreen so you can see some of the statistics of this video. We can see that this is a 4K video, and it gives me some of the stats of this video. We'll look at making specific project settings in a second. But what I normally do is just click and drag my video clip and drag it onto the timeline. And what it does is it creates a sequence that matches the video settings. To me, that seems too easy on the certification exam. You're probably not going to be asked to do that. So let's go ahead and delete this sequence. Part B of this subdomain says that we should be able to create a sequence that matches the project requirements. Another way to create a sequence is to click this button, New Item, and then go to Sequence. That brings up this window. On the certification exam, they're going to be specific as to the settings that you need to apply to the sequence. There won't be any guesswork, so don't stress about that. We have a lot of pre-made presets that we can choose from. So maybe we'll select the digital SLR, and we'll start with a 1080, and we'll do the 30 frames per second. We can see here what this would be made of, but maybe I need to alter one of the settings on this. If I go to the settings, I have the option of changing what this preset brought in. Maybe I wanted 60 frames per second. I can change the frame size. I can mess with some of the audio. On the tracks, right now I have three video tracks, but maybe I want 10. I can change our audio from stereo to 5.1. We can do mono. I can also add audio tracks. If I check this box here, I can actually subtract a track. We can change our track type here as well. And we can also name our sequence. So for this, we'll just do test. And then one last thing we can do is save our preset if we needed to save these settings. We'll click OK. And now we created a sequence based upon specifics that we set. 